Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here to do your February 2020 general tarot forecast. So you will notice that there are going to be three readings for your sign each month. There is the bi-monthly, so first two and last two weeks of the month, and as well as your monthly, which is this one. You can follow me on Instagram at RadicalAngel33 for my daily free tarot reading. So what is in store for you, Aquarius, for February 2020? Messages for Aquarius, February. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here to do your February 2020 general tarot forecast. There is a bi-monthly reading for you as well, both for the beginning and end of the month. And you can follow me on Instagram for your daily tarot reading, and that's Radical Angel 33. All right, so what have we got in store for you, Aquarius, for February 2020? So I'm going to do quite an extended reading for you today. We're going to have not only this deck in a Celtic cross for you, but I'm going to qualify that with another tarot deck for just some more in-depth information to flesh it out a little. And then we will get four oracle cards to polish up the reading. Messages for Aquarius for February. All right, so right off the bat, I am noticing two kings. I'll get an idea of what that means for you. I do think this does have something to do with money or investments, whether it's time or money for you. Yeah, so business opportunities could be in the cards for you for February, actually, guys. So I think it might be um, an indication that you're hearing back about job prospects or that you're applying this month. If, that, if you're not doing either of them, I would really... You know, whether you're actually looking, maybe just play around with applying for some jobs, update your resume at this time. Just because whenever we see the two kings, it, it's rather rare, right? And then we do have um, a few pentacles about planning and family and long-term planning. Um, but business opportunities nonetheless, so whether that is with someone else or things that you are doing on your own. We know that the bottom of the deck energy is quite potent, and this is how I know that this is around an investment issue, income, or lifestyle. We have the Magician sandwiched between the Seven and the Ten of Pentacles. So really trying to get a feel for how, how much you want to continue doing what you're doing in order to get what you want um, to get to this place, right? So I wouldn't wait, make significant or sudden changes to anything that you've been working on right now. I would keep going in a direction. Um, that you have all the resources currently for, which is how we're reading, um, you know, the magician here. You do have all the resources. You do have everything in a practical sense here. Um, I think it's a really about, you know, self-initiation um, or, or performing uh, initiative at this time. We do, the you know, it's first house, right? It's the, um, the number one card. So it really is up to you how well things turn out and not that you're not going to be working with other people necessarily but that sense of initiative that sense of motivation um knowing and believing and even just the act of desiring something bigger and better is part and parcel of the behavior so you know if you start there and then start doing little things like putting into action the job preparation or um you know, new skill set, something like that. So we have um, the soulmate card, the two of cups uh, sort of crossing. So I would believe that's in favor of the card in, 
you know, representing you, which is the Six of Swords. If you're going to have a Swords card representing you, it might as well be this. So this is quite lovely, right? This is moving away from troubled waters. This could be short-term travel, of course, but it, it's basically communication, an idea or a belief system that is pretty chill, right? This is a chill energy. This is saying, I don't want any conflict. It didn't work out, not a big deal. And then um, it could be that it's with another person. You and another person see eye to eye about this situation. It could have been a former argument. It could have been a former miscommunication. Um, we do have some more difficult swords energy in the recent past we'll look at in a moment. So it could be that you guys just decided to kiss and make up would be another way to read that as well. But because, you know, the loving aspect of this relationship, no matter if it's business, career, romance, whatever it is, it is a general reading. But no matter what it is here, there it's more important to see eye to eye and to show some compassion and look at the big picture here. Like, um... You can disagree while still being pleasant and loving. At the foundation here is the King of Pentacles. This is Taurus world energy here. It could be any earth sign though, <clears throat> who could be in your environment. But the King of Pentacles is a really strong energy. Um, this is like the grandpa energy. It's really warm, it's really inviting. You can see he's quite luxurious. He's got some furs. Um, he's probably sitting in a really nice cozy uh, fire-placed um, environment. And there's a library. There's just something very, very rich <clears throat> about this guy here, about this energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And like I said, um, you know, it is sort of part and parcel here with what's going on with the Ten of Pentacles. So I think you could be looking for some richness. You could be looking to experience this or a person like this, or, you know, your assets or possessions are really, really important to you right now. Um, of course, we know the Taurus rules the second house, so possessions, your singing, your speaking voice, um, I would say foundations, you know, the feminine part of yourself, receptivity could be very, very important here as a foundation. Like I said, your recent past does involve a swords card, and I think you've leveled up though. You had a difficult or anxious situation here in the recent past where you've overcome that. Like I said, you've chosen to look at the bright side, you're going to brush off any hardships and look at what is positive or working for you. So it's actually really, really nice to see here, guys, um, that this is in the past. If you're going to get the Eight of Swords at all, it's in the past. So that's wonderful. So the anxiety or the um, confusion or inability to make a move or a decision here is in the past. That's nice. <laughs> here crowning you, this is what is could be working for you or could you, you could take advantage of as a surrender or sacrifice. Now it is sort of mirroring the possession card, right? The two, um, rather the second house, the Taurus ruled King of Pentacles. This might have to do with possessions. It might have to do with money, investments, incomes. Like and I said at the very beginning, a job itself, income potential, um, but certainly valued items, value systems, or possessions could be very, very important here with regard to surrender, sacrifice, a new perspective may be necessary here. There could be a, um, an element of enlightenment here as well when we see the hanged man. Uh, but what I do find important with the hanged man, however, is that there is a little bit of a... Um, there has to be a chill energy. It, it creates a chill environment. Not chilly as in cold, but you're just going to not hurry something here. And because we are, you know, at the, this pentacle energy, there's no rushing this energy anyway. So it could be just that you have to wait on something coming in. You might have to just change your attitude about something that could be taking longer than you had expected to. In your near future is the lack card, right? It's getting... Feeling like you're not getting what you want, feeling like you can't get what you need here is a major theme around the Five of Pentacles. Um, there's a lot of like community or relationship suffering I found with this one, and it can be a loved one, it can be a family member. Um, but the interesting thing that I do find with the Five of Pentacles is that it's never really just affecting you, at least one other person is being affected by this. So on the one hand, it's a downer because you could be out in the cold right now, especially financially. On the other hand, you're not alone, so that may be a good thing. Um, you might want to discuss options, financial options or career options at this time as well. Here we have the energy that you're expressing in the month of February, and this is the King of Cups. 
So this is really deep, intense energy. There could be some secrets or some depth here. There could be a lot of intensity I find around the Scorpio ruled king. Again, it can be any water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, but because it's uh, Scorpio ruled, we are looking at eighth house. Now, eighth house sits opposite of the second house. These um, Taurus and Scorpio are actually opposite signs. So there's shared finances, shared possessions, sex, death, and rebirth. In addition to possessions, um, they're, they're both fixed energy as well. So this could be something fairly huge, right? This could be something as, as big as a career, a home, um, stock portfolios, right? Um, values and possessions. It could be jewelry, something of that, that uh, nature. In the position that represents how other people are seeing you, they just see you as someone who's really cozy. Your home is very important to you. They always feel at home when they're with you. Um, you give people a lot of, I would say, comfort. There's a, there's a great deal of comfort and satisfaction here with the Four of Wands. In your hopes and wishes, <laughs> position is a lot of hard work, guys. This is the wounded soldier, right? So the Nine of Wands is really talking about really giving it your all. You really can't afford to get tired here, but you can become exhausted. So just watch for overexerting yourself at this time. But it looks like at least a possible outcome is getting exactly what you wanted, right? Like your ships are coming in. Something very positive that you had planned for will be provided to you. So let's get another layer on these guys just to flesh this out a little bit. The really only difficult, majorly difficult card here is your immediate future, which is the Five of Pentacles. And um, oops. Um, you know that should be that should be here and gone. I don't think it'll be lasting, right? Uh, the Five of Pentacles is really it comes and goes. I find anything under a six is really sort of flimsy energy. And again, it's for the month, like really this is the head frame you're in now, how if you were to keep going the way you're going, this is what might happen, you know, I would just maybe consider where your money's going, consider that you could have an unexpected bill perhaps coming up, that's another way to look at that. Alright, let's get some bottom of the deck cards for you and match them up against the other three we have here. Yeah, I mean there is a little bit of loss here guys, there is definitely heartache, there is boredom and then there is a loss a loss or a devaluation very very interesting and it really will be surrounding how hard you're working your income potential maybe you felt like you were getting somewhere and kind of spitting your wheels but yeah February at least the overall energy looks like it may not be very satisfactory for you I think I would spend a lot of time dealing with issues of communication and <clears throat> reacting to a difficult situation at this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Page of Cups and the High Priestess. So this is confirming your Six of Swords and your Two of Cups. So yeah, loving communication. It's really important that you try to stay positive here with the way that you communicate at least, at least. but there is a little bit of a mystery here. We're looking at the mystery again. We're looking at secrets. We're looking at something being held under wraps. There is something that you're not privy to, something that you don't want to make someone else privy to. It could be a mad crush that you have on someone else or they have on you and they're really not keen in bringing it out in the open. We have strength on top of the king of pentacles. So really we're looking at exhibiting a great deal of character, right? This is character building. I do, I really do see a tough time, guys. I see a tough time. I'm just going to say it. We have another king here. Um, something is going to, now we don't have the tower, so I don't think it's going to be sudden for you, but there is something that is um, maybe you would just rather not deal with or something that's really going to test your strength of character or your patience at this time. So I do 
see that there could be a high status or honors granted as well. So it's almost like two steps forward, one step back. It could feel like that a little bit this month, but strength is really calling on you to have a lot of, build a lot of character at this time. And you could, and in order to do that, you just have to manage something difficult. And it's just the nature of the beast there, guys. King of Cups is over the Eight of Swords. So yeah, here's this really intense energy, keeping something under wraps, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotional depth. Um, there's a mystery here, there's an enigma here, and it is over this um, Eight of Swords, right? Where that, the anxiety, the sleeplessness, the don't know if I can move this way or that way. And a sacrifice needing to be made, as we said with the Hanged Man, and then the Nine of Swords. So it's, yeah, something is really keeping you up. You have to make a major decision. It's something you wish you didn't have to deal with. It could be about values, valuables, value systems, possessions. It could be about a relationship. Maybe you thought someone was something or not. Um, but there's a great deal of sleeplessness and anxiety here. So it's just something to watch for, guys. If you're headed in a specific direction here, just beware that you may have to give something up in order to move forward. We do have a really nice uh, victory, a small victory around the Five of Pentacles, so something could work out in your favor. It could be a loan, it could be a discount. Um, it's really nice to see this qualified by something positive, to be honest with you. So the near future does have something positive for you. Um, Try not to get too down about this either. Try to get creative about um, achieving the outcomes you want. Here in the energy, like I said, that you're exhibiting to the world around you on top of the Scorpio ruled King of Cups is the Six of Cups. So someone from your past could come back around. Someone who is extra sensitive, someone who is very, very intuitive, someone who relies on the past, is from the past, someone who reminds you of the past. This could be a childhood friend. Here we have the moon over your um, home card in the position regarding how you're expressing yourself, sorry, how other people are receiving you. And this is moodiness, <laughs> you know, around your home, around your possessions, around what makes you happy, being cozy, comfortable, approachable. You know, there's a little bit of moodiness there, something behind the scenes. Um, there's a great deal of intuition here as well. There could be a Pisces individual involved somehow here or 12th house. Something having to do with, you know, distinct endings and beginnings. This could be about a home, guys. This could be, um, I do find also with the moon that there is a sense of like shadow work, there's a sense of nighttime, there is an element of wisdom as well, but dreams could be very important here as well. Um, a dream about your home, about the perfect home. Dreams could be very significant this month for you. We do have the Hierophant over the Nine of Wands, which is in your Hopes and Fears card. <coughs> Excuse me. The Hierophant is um, again, some more Taurus energy there. This is long-standing traditions, right? So your hopes and fears have to do with long-standing traditions. It could be lifestyle. It's hard not to imagine this that does, doesn't have to do with possessions though. Um, if this is on the career front, I would say that this is, you're, are, you're gonna have to sort of follow the rules here. You're gonna have to do things by the book. This is a pretty strict energy. And then qualifying your outcome, the Three of Wands, is the Hermit. So a lot of introspection is necessary at this time. You may have to go within. Um, you can light your own way. You have the answers. Um, I do find that the Hermit is not only solitary, but I find it's a little bit of a loner card. So you could have to go something alone. This could just be something as simple as a breakup, guys. And if that's the case, I'm really sorry. Um, but you could need to do a lot of internal work, uh, a lot of internal healing, 